Annyeonghaseyo, Yorubun! I knew you missed me. But we are back to your irregularly scheduled programming. I am 3D Girls Are Lame, your favorite 3D girl. So I know it's been a long time. It's a regularly scheduled program for a reason. But I did not leave you guys hanging and I did finish Ite one class. I decided that I'm going to do the first episode and the last episode of each show. It's hard to keep up with for me. I can't keep up with every episode, especially when it's like, I don't know, I can't do schedule. That's why it's irregularly scheduled programming. I did finish ET1 class and I want to say, I've never been so unhappy and happy at the same time. It's like everything worked out, but I'm also like, you all suck a lot. This man has a thing for the most toxic women I have ever seen in a K-drama, like ever. Like there are some bad girls, but these girls, it's like they're supposed to be good girls or on the good side, but it's just toxic as fuck. This one over here, she just care about her job and money and surviving on her own, cool. But she still wants him to like her and she still wants to like flirt with him here and there, but also like kind of feel like she still does everything the boss says no matter what, no matter how much it hurts him and no matter how much it sets him back, she does whatever. At first I thought, oh, she's just in the spot, you know, she needs to get her, get her way up there and then she can help him when she's got something. But nope, she was absolutely useless almost the entire time until the very last freaking minute when there was the most obvious, easiest time to get out. And I'm kind of like, I can't stand her. She was just useless. If we saw her, we knew, oh, this moment is not gonna be good. Why is she here? Now this one over here, she, she just young and stupid and crazy and irritating. At first I thought she was really boss. Like I thought she was so cool and great because she's like tough and she stands up for herself, but nope. She just an evil bitch. Oh, I'm doing everything for you. I did this and that. She was useful as hell. She had that man's back, but she was trash. And all she cared about was running around trying to help this dude so that he will love her. Just cause she wants him to love her back, which took such a long time that's kind of ridiculous. And the way he decided, oh, I love you now was really, really stupid. I don't never want to have to hang around a man for a decade for him to feel like he got feelings for me. That shit's for the birds. I, it made me tired. I, chincha, chumpa. And they both were awful. The only decent girl was our transgender girl. Man, she was dope and she always, she was, she was strong as fuck. Stop. Get, come here. Where was I? Her and the guy, those two, they had our backs the whole time. Like when it came to the fighting, they all were this so cool. What I did not expect is for the gangster dude to not be useful later. <laughs> when he was in prison with him, I was like, oh, this is great. Later on, he's gonna be really handy. But no, he ends up being the biggest obstacle. In, in like, the, just to, to, to clean things up. Like we're successful and shit, but guess what? People still trying to kill other people, and it's your homie. It's the man that's supposed to have your back. Like, well, it was great because it's nice, twisty. I didn't expect it. It was interesting. The whole show was super interesting, and I binged the hell out of it. It was fantastic, but it made me angry. Lots of things made me angry. Our, our poor boy. He, he was in love with the crazy girl so bad. He did whatever it took to have her. She played him like a goddamn fiddle, man. Like, he knew better, he knew better, but he took the very small, tiniest chance, even though he knew she wouldn't back it up, and he still went to work for his dad. I love that, for some reason, they all act like, like, they're not super close with him anymore, but they're still like, he's still our friend, and oh, we want to save him, we'll help him, and, and he's still on our team. It's just, it's like they all understood or something, but like, he did some really bad shit. I guess I should have expected it. They kind of gave a little hint when he was a kid and they showed him like burning ants with a magnifying glass. He had that darkness in him from the beginning. He was capable of some wild, wild shit. He still fought for that girl even when she abandoned him to die. Like, she told me to hang on. I'm like, are you fucking stupid? Of 
course he is. Look what he's done for love. But um, Sari, Sari, he, he, he did it. He did everything he planned to do. His business booming. Everyone got a nice cushy place. Even my boy. I like to call him Chocolate Opa. That boy is talented. Let me tell you, his, his singing voice is beautiful. Super talented. Um, I think I saw he was gonna he's gonna work with Ugly Duck. In the end, everything worked out. But like I don't know, I wanted there to be a third girl that had some sense or something. Sari is not a really fucked up guy to where he can't do better than these two toxic, crazy women. And it's just I feel like he thinks he loves the crazy girl just because. Why not? You know. I don't know, she's messed up. The romance section, the romance part of it all is kind of, I'm not here for it. But the action, the fighting, the emotional story, the ups and downs, I'm on this trip with you, are you gonna make it or are you not gonna make it? It was great! And old dude, you know, on his knees fucking crying because I'm not giving you your shit back and I don't care if you know in front of me how you feel like an old, pathetic man. And ET1 class was really good. It just made me angry. Everything, almost everything about it. Half the show was just me like, ugh, ugh, ugh. But I couldn't stop watching it. It's like hate fuel. Like, ugh, you and ugh, you. But then, you know, everybody succeeded. And then if I had read the webtoon, um, I probably would have felt different about these characters because, you know, written, you can imagine things a little bit different. Imagine it said different, this, that, and the third. But, yeah. Thank you for watching with me. This has been 3D Girls Are Lame, your favorite 3D girl. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Annyeong, annyeong. I can fly the sky. Never gonna stay. Never gonna stay.